Howdy, folks. I said, uh, Coach Blair asked me to come in and handle the basketball portion for him. I said, of course you would send me in here on the quarter that we didn't score any points for the first time ever. So what do you guys got for me? Ask away. Why did it look like they were tougher this time than last time possibly you played? Yeah, that way. yeah I, I thought we definitely shorthandedly at their place um, competed a little bit better, or, or a lot better than we did here. I was uh, extremely disappointed on a day where we're honoring Coach Blair, but not just Coach Blair, but honoring three seniors that have meant a lot uh, to the program. I just didn't see the toughness. I didn't see the resiliency, and I just didn't see the resolve to want to fight uh, to stay in it. I thought South Carolina started off slow, just like we did. So I thought there was a great opportunity, even though we weren't hitting shots. Um, we weren't trying to complicate the offense. We knew Boston wouldn't come out of the paint on some things, so we were looking to hit some mid-range shots. Um, but before you get to the X's and O's of it, I was just disappointed in our heart uh, today. I, I don't think it was a distraction because we've been dealing with that, you know, all year. I was just disappointed in it. And the thing that we tried to stress to them is great coaches, great players have long memories. And that I, I guarantee you somewhere in their facility uh, was our name, uh, whether it was postseason when they were training or whatever they were doing. We took something that rightfully was ours last year, but I guarantee you they remembered that uh, and they played like the number one team in the country. Uh, but I was disappointed in our effort, uh, regardless of shots falling or uh, de defensive miscues. The, the fight wasn't there with fighting Texas Aggies. At the end of the game, there was a bunch of whistles. Was that a part of an effort to be a little bit more aggressive defensively, or was it uh, mishaps and resulting in fouls? Or what was the process that went into all of that? I just think you had, you know, your kids in there that don't get a lot of reps on both sides of the ball. South Carolina had theirs in there too. So I think you had some kids that just weren't used uh, to being in there, getting those type of minutes, and uh, you just saw some technical stuff where kids weren't jumping to the ball and just a little out of sorts. I don't. It wasn't any plan. Uh, we did plan the sub at the end on whistles to get the seniors out individually um, to honor them, but we didn't tell anybody to go hack, you know, to do that. I just think that was just technique fouls.